welcome to the replay. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalk Couture. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat live right here on Facebook. If you guys are catching me on YouTube, <laughs> please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun crafty videos. And you guys, the greatest compliment you could give me is a share. In the bottom left corner of your mobile devices is a share button. I would love it if you would share this video. Hi guys, welcome, happy Saturday. I, I don't know why I don't know what days it is. I just can't remember what days. Hey Patty, welcome. I at least did my hair for you guys today. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tiny bit better, but I'm hot. Like everything is just, uh, we've been hot off and on today. Hey Gloria, welcome. So today is part two of our little houses that we did last night in our live. Super excited to share with you guys this design that we're creating tonight. Not sure it's going to turn out how exactly I had it in my mind, but it's okay. It's still going to be cute, right? And it's DIY, high-end, home decor. So we're going to try it. Um, hey guys, hey Sandy, how are you? Happy Saturday. Thanks for sprinkling the video, Gloria. I greatly appreciate it. So, you guys, welcome to the page. This is Chalkin' with Jen. Like I said, I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Real quick, throwing this up on my screen. What is Chalk Couture? We are a DIY home decor and crafting company, and you won't find our products anywhere else except through designers like myself. We have these really cool silk screen reusable transfers. We have our chalk paste and we have couture inks. Now we do offer several surfaces. We have all the tools that you need, but just know this can be done on chalkboard, wood, glass, tin, dry erase board, canvas, t-shirts, dish towels, pillowcases, cardstock. You guys, I could go on and on. But the greatest thing and the most important thing that I can truly offer to you is a DIY home decor business opportunity. You guys, this is available in the US for $99 and in Canada for $129. It's really, really something different in the industry, you guys. Whether you're looking to, I don't know, pay off a credit card. Maybe you're looking to put some money away for you know your kids going to college. Maybe you just need grocery money. Maybe you need to make a mortgage payment. You guys, you can do all these things with Chalk Couture if you turn it into a business. So if you are interested in learning more about that, just give me a hashtag join and we will touch base and we can talk about it. No obligation. You can learn more about the business opportunity to learn about how really awesome it is to be a part of Chalk Couture and what we offer. Hey Tracy, welcome. You guys, I have never seen a company, number one, that offers what we do. Like I said, we have high-end DIY home decor. We offer an experience. We offer something fun for you to share with family and friends. You get to come together and create beautiful decor like you see behind me, you guys. I mean, look how gorgeous this stuff is. You can create that yourself. So like I said, if you're interested in learning more about being a designer, please make sure you let me know and give me a hashtag join and we will touch base. So you guys, hashtag share, hashtag like, hashtag give me a comment. You guys know I always talk about that. Um, it greatly helps me if you choose to do that and I truly, truly appreciate it. So here we go. Let's get crafty. So. Oh, let me take a drink, you guys. Sorry, before we get started. Get myself a drink. Tonight, remember these cute little houses we did yesterday with our, our little Mod Podge and napkins? Remember, I do have everybody's name. Remember, somebody's going to get a free packet of napkins from yesterday's video. I will do that when we are done, I promise. But... This is just Mod Podge on top of our house cutouts. I have let them dry and now they're finished. So what are we going to do next? So first and foremost, let me say this offhand. I highly recommend the next step. If you have a hand sander, it's going to work a hundred times better. Okay. But since I'm not bringing my hand sander in the house because I don't feel like having that all over the place. I'm gonna try doing this 
with just a piece of sandpaper. So we'll see how we do, all right? So all you're gonna do now, once you have them, they're dry just like this. You're gonna take your sandpaper, like I said, I recommend a hand sander, or if you've got like a really nice aggressive one, it could work, and you're just gonna start sanding, okay? You're gonna sand your edges, get off those excess pieces, sand your corners off, you guys. I always say sand your corners. You guys know I sand all of my corners. Okay, so we're just gonna sand away all those little edges, okay? It's so much easier with a hand sander, you guys. Okay, so I'm just sanding all those just like this. And the reason we left those little lumps and bumps in there, it is for a reason, okay? I'm just gonna sand this. And what I'm doing is I want this to look weathered, okay? Totally want this to look weathered. I don't wanna leave it all nice and fancy and pretty. And then I'm gonna kinda go over it. And I'm hitting those bumps and edges, you guys. And the reason I'm hitting those bumps and edges are again, to give it that vintage look, all right? Oh my gosh, it's so much better with a hand sander. I swear, I promise. So you're hitting those edges and you're sanding them off, right? Sanding block from the Dollar Tree would probably work a lot better too. But like I said, I'm just going like this. Because you're sanding them off, and like I said, it's giving it that weathered look. Woo! You guys, I am getting my workout over here. And I'm already hot. too much off on that corner. That's okay. I'm not worried about it. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys, wait a minute. Hey, Tracy. Hey, jo hey, Joan Jackson. Every time I see the name Joan, I think of Joan Jett. I don't, I don't know why. Pull my hair up, you guys. I'm getting hot. Getting hot. So like I said, you're just gonna sand this till you get a nice look that you want. See, it kind of looks a little bit more weathered when you sand it, because I'm hitting those edges. Oh my gosh, I got stuff flying all over the place. I hope I don't start coughing. Okay, just like that. So I kind of want to show you real quick though. When you hit it with a hand sander, it's like you get it a little bit better. Like you can hit some of those edges a little bit better. But you just want to give it that nice weathered look. Okay, that's all you're doing. That's the only purpose of sanding it down is to make it look a little bit more vintage. Okay? One thing nice that sanding can do it can always make something look distressed sorry you guys how's everyone doing today how is everyone Saturday it's Saturday feeling a tiny little bit better today got a little bit more medicine today yes absolutely Sandy maybe a little bit heavier grit would probably work a little bit better. Like I said, I did have my hand sander outside, so I did the opposite side. But I was like, oh, I can't bring that in here. Mm -mm, no. If I bring that in here, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. And I can see i got to wipe some sandpaper off as it is. Okay. So you're just doing that. And then here you go. See, like this one I did? Do you see how it looks like really vintage on that side? 
That's how I hit that one with the hand sander. But doesn't that look awesome? You guys, aren't they adorable? With the, I mean, it's napkins, literally napkins. All right, so let me clean this up. Oh my goodness, heavens to Betsy. Oh, my OCD just went from high to overload. You guys, overload. Why are my paper towels soaking wet? All right. I must have dumped them in something. Here's the deal. I've got stuff all over. I've got dust. Oh, my gosh. Look at my chalk paste lids. Oh, you guys probably can't see. That's craziness. Oh, it's probably went in my water. Goodness. So, FYI, do it outside. If you're sanding, do your sanding outside, okay? Just saying. All right. So, we got that cleaned up a little bit. That's good. Just like that, okay? Now, we're going to take, whoops, we're going to take our palette boards. So, this is one of the palette boards that we do sell at Chocotour. Remember, this is our palette board. <laughs> It's a beautiful white palette board. It comes in two different sizes. Yes, I did sand this down as well, okay? But we're going to use the back side, so I distressed it with a sander so that it looks like this, okay? Then, you guys, oh my goodness gracious. Blah, yuck. We are going to use a part. You guys know what this transfer is. Oh, Jen, I know, I know. I'm actually not going. Even though I earned it this year, I'm not going. Um, unfortunately, Jason couldn't get off of work because he just moved here and started his job. And um, I really didn't want to go without him, and I didn't want to have to take Matthew out of school for a week. So I decided not to go on the cruise, even though I earned it. I know, I know. I'm missing it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, that was really rude to cough like that. All right. So, you guys, I'm going to be using the Welcome to Hour from the Club Couture Transfer. Let me tell you, today is the last day you are able to get this transfer <coughs> as a Club Couture member. Oh, that dust is getting in my throat. <coughs> I'm sorry, you guys. <clears throat> So if you are interested, you can still become a part of the Club Couture program and get this transfer. Just give me a hashtag club below and I will make sure I get you the link. But we are only going to be used the welcome to our part for this. And then we're going to be using a couple other little transfers. So here we go. First thing you want to do, you guys, is always write on the back of your transfers, okay? I'm going to take my finger, rub it over the edge to get this started, and I'm going to remove my carrier sheet from the transfer. Now, <clears throat> I do want to fuzz this up, so I'm just going to take this and put it on my fuzzing cloth. Yeah, it's okay, Jen. I'm, I'm totally fine with it. I earned the last two um, incentive trips that we did have, which is awesome, but haven't been able to go, and it's totally fine. Totally fine. Next time, Fiji's coming, and um, we are we are well on our way to learning Fiji. So that will definitely be one that we're going to be going to, for sure, you guys, for sure. All right, so I'm going to take this and place it right on my surface. <coughs> and then I'm going to smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in my silk screen. <coughs> my goodness. And you, you know what? Even with this sickness, Jen, I don't know that it would have been a good thing to go anyway. All right, so I am going to be using, I don't think this one is available anymore, but this is called Pesto. It is our one of our chalk paste colors. Our chalk paste does come in 36 colors. I think this one actually retired. I'm not 100% positive. I'd have to look. But your chalk paste, like I said, we have 36 different colors in our chalk paste. You want this to be like a yogurt sour cream consistency. If for any reason it is not, you just add some water and get it that great consistency. So here we go. Making sure this is all down, right on my surface like that. 
dipping my squeegee in and then I'm totally gonna just scrape this across my silk screen okay now if you have your own current craft business maybe you're a craft blogger uh, maybe you're a wreath maker maybe you sew maybe you knit uh, maybe you're a sign maker. You guys, this is something that you could always just do in addition to make some residual income, and it's super fun and super easy. And let me tell you, it is super rewarding when you see your finished, your, your finished results and how easy it was to do that. Look at that, you guys. Look how easy it was to get nice, crisp, nice, crisp clean letters. There's no weeding involved in this. Why am I crooked? I was crooked there, you guys. So that's what I really, really love. Now, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, so then we're going to do, we're going to let this go. We're going to set this aside for one minute. And we're going to do our little houses, okay? So I'm going to do this one and this one. So all we're going to do, again, we've got our transfers numbered on this one. So we know which, which piece of the carrier sheet goes with this one. And I am because we are fuzzing. I'm fuzzing this because we're putting this on top of the napkin that's been mod -dodge. Okay. And I'm just going to place it. Which side do I want to use? I'll use this side. I'm just going to place this right on here. Just like that. Again, smooth it out. Dip my squeegee in there. And again, easy peasy, you guys. Put this right on there and peel it up. Look at that. Look how great that looks, you guys. Right? Super fun, super easy. Okay, the next one we are going to use. Oh, there it is. I'm going to use, this is actually part of the house transfer that actually goes with the houses. They have patterns in it for them. Again, I've already written on mine. These are all reusable. You usually get eight to 10 uses out of one transfer. Need to fuzz this up. I'm only using the heart for this one, I think. Let me see, let me see. I don't know. Do I wanna use the whole thing? We could use the whole thing. I'm just using the heart. No, I am just using the heart because I'm going to do something different with this. Oh my goodness. I am craziness tonight. Crazy. All right. So again, this is called Marvelous. This is the Marvelous color chalk paste. And actually, let me, let me pull up my catalog really quick. Because I just want to make sure. I don't think this is available either. I'm going to be honest with you. So, Marvelous would be very similar to the Peony. You could mix it Peony or and Peachy Keen. And Pesto is available. Sorry, Pesto is available. Actually, they're both available. So, never mind. I take back everything I said. You can get these chalk paste. They are both available. Pesto and Marvelous. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I am not doing good tonight, huh? I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, so I was a little bit worried, but it's all good. Okay, so I'm just taking my chalk paste and scraping it across that silk screen, just like that. Okay, again, I'm going to peel this up. Oh, you guys, look how cute that one looks. <gasps> so, so cute. Oh, I love that one. Wow. All right, let me get my hair dryer over here. The leopard one would be fun with friends, right? Totally, totally. But do you see, like, when you sand it, how it comes out a little bit more distressed? Okay, just wanted to do that. Now this one, I'm actually gonna add 
me get my chalk paste out of the way here. This one, I'm totally going to add a little bit of string to this one. Okay, so this is just some twine. All right, I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to tie this in a knot and actually, let me see, yeah, I've done that too, I've done that too, Jen, I, I'll be honest with you, I love the hand sander, I, I totally love the hand sander, but yeah, right? I have totally done that. I'm going to take a little key. Let me get another piece of string here. Oh my goodness. I was fine and now I'm sweating. Goodness gracious. Put a little key on here, right? Oh, no, I don't want it that way. There we go. I'm going to tie this on here. I didn't make my, um, whatchamacallit, long enough. There you guys. Actually, let me do this because I don't want to see it. Hold on. Let me go underneath here because I don't want to be able to see it. Easy. We got this. We got this. Hi, Renee. How are you? Thank you, Sandy. Okay, we're going to go like that. We're going to cut it super close. Oh, these scissors are amazing. Love them. And then we'll pull this over and we'll trim these up a little too. And you can play with your string. You know, and if I want to move that over a little bit, I can. Whatever I want to do there. So it's kind of like underneath there. But like super cute, right? It's got a little heart and leopard. That's kind of cute. Okay, so we're going to bring our little board back, okay? This is, like I said, this is our palette board that we do offer from Chalk Couture. We're going to take this. Of course, we've got some more ribbon, and this kind of matches the pesto color, so that's why I was using this ribbon. kind of think it's a little bit, like, exotic, right? I'm going to tie a little bow up here, you guys. And you're going to play with it. Here, let's see. Mm, too big. Too, too big. Let me see here, you guys. I don't want my bow to be, like, super big. Oh, I made some more soup. So you hear that beeping back there. That's the soup. sure Jen doesn't cut her fingers okay just giving my little bow up here you know my fancy little edge right look how cute that looks so far okay then where's that we're gonna get some hot glue and we're gonna hot glue oh my goodness you guys my hot glue is not on okay but we're going to have to let that sit for a few minutes before I actually hot glue it. But I will show you the steps. So we're going to take some moss. We're going to hot glue the moss down here at the bottom. Okay. And then what you will do is you're going to put Velcro on one side of your house and a piece of Velcro right here. And you're going to set this right there in the middle, you guys. 
So it's welcome to our home, right? How cute is that? And how cute would this be sitting on a little easel in your entryway? And then when you want to change it up, you would just take off the Velcro and you could put this one down. And I really like the pesto color with the leopard and the really like the marvelous hot the marvelous heart. I think that's super cute, you guys. But how fun was that? Easy. Like I said, you can change it out. So you could do, I mean, criminy, you know at the store there are a gazillion different napkins for each and every season. I mean, they have them for 4th of July, Easter, Christmas, Valentine's. They have napkins for like everything. So you could totally do different sides, like the different sides on all of the houses. And then you could totally just change them out for each and every season. Just like that, right? How cute was that, you guys? Did you like that? Did you like that idea with the, like I said, these are the house cutouts. They come in a set of two. This is our palette board. This transfer here that says welcome to our today is the last day you can become a part of our club couture to get that transfer. And then, um, <coughs> I apologize. The little home is actually from the gift tags. And then the little heart is actually from the heart or from the house transfer, the house cut apart transfer. So that was it. I use our pesto and our marvelous, the marvelous chalk paste. And I created this cute little interchangeable piece of DIY home decor, you guys. Easy peasy. So I hope you love this. If you guys have any questions about anything, um, whether you're interested in shopping for the products, whether you're interested in just knowing anything about the products, please let me know. I'm happy to answer any of those questions. And I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday, you guys. Stay tuned to the page to see who the winner is of our napkins from yesterday. All right, you guys, have a good evening.